Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to talk about the electronic parking brake retractor tool diagnostics. Uh, and we're going to explain how this thing works, you know, in uh, brief, this is a short video but it's very concise. As you can see, that's the retractor parking brake tool. It, it's used in a lot, a lot of European uh, vehicles. Um, uh, the instructions on how to use are on the front, on the front faceplate. Uh, so this is a an electronic parking brake tool. Uh, it has a little motor on the side, or it could be on the back as well. Uh, uh, These things, you know, they started to be used. They started on the European cars. Um, the typical this one has a huge motor in the back I believe this one was for a Mercedes or a BMW uh, and this is more of a this is what's used on the VW Audi and that's the actual motor okay it has a little gears in the back has a motor on the side uh, it is a PWM controlled motor and that's the retractor that's exactly what the retractor is gonna do now no scanner needed uh, for the retractor tool okay so uh and that's the idea uh, so basically all of the uh the cables are included uh, it has uh, we're going to briefly explain what it, it has a button uh it has a polarity switch to uh, reverse polarity that way you can uh, make the motor move uh, back and forth uh, so you can contract the the brake pads or retract uh, but uh, and it's used for on pretty much all these uh uh, European manufacturers as well as some of the Asian and some domestics because this thing is trickle, trickling down all over almost everybody has electronic parking brake uh, the instructions again uh, push the button number one uh, then flip the switch uh, service a brake flip the switch again and then uh, follow the instructions now once you do your brake job uh, basically what the first thing you do is you retract the brakes okay uh, and this is uh, as you can see on screen you retract the brakes and this is just a an animation of how it works this this is the brake rotor in red and the, and the blue are the pads so you retract the brakes you replace the pads but you have to leave a, a, pa a gap between the pad and the rotor this is why when you finish uh, introducing the new pads and you do your or you replace the rotor and you replace the pads you need to contract the retractor and then retract it a couple of steps by simply pushing the button for a few seconds, you know, a, one second at a time, pretty much. And that will give you steps. And you're going to see that later on in the video uh, where you can actually, uh, how it works uh, by looking at the motor. I'm actually showing you the motor itself. Uh, but basically, this gap between the pad and rotor, you have to be mindful because if you don't leave the proper gap, and all you got to do is you, you don't have to gap it or anything like that. You could if you want, but you don't have to. All you got to do is just turn the rotor a little bit, you know, make sure you, the vehicle is in neutral. And and it, it, it'll show you if you have, if the brakes is actuated or not. Okay. Um, remember that you need four to five times more current to unseize a caliper. Sometimes it's, it's really seized in there. Okay. So you're going to have to play with it. Uh, and oftentimes, if it's locked, if it's seat completely, you cannot, whether you have the retractor or you use, you use the ECM with the scanner, it doesn't really matter. You're not, it's not going to work because it's seized. Okay. Uh, you can disassemble it uh, and uh, unseize it. Uh, a lot of uh, t uh, mechanics do that. And as you can see on screen, this is the, re the parking brake button. So if it, ha if it has a button, it has a, uh, a, re a parking brake. Uh, and that's a retractor in the back. We're showing you, you're going to see the faceplate that it has is the old fa faceplate. This is the, the video that we had before. But it's pretty much the same unit inside. So we haven't changed all the, in none of the electronics. Uh, we just made the faceplate more um, resistant to fluids and, you know, garbage, you know, all the stuff that you use in a, in a repair shop. And that's a retractor. That's a that's a parking brake. You just saw a parking brake motor. Uh, again, uh, four, four to five times more current to unseize the caliper. Okay, the retractor comes with two uh, two leads, two wires, one for the battery, and the other one goes to the retractor. Polarity, it doesn't matter. You can connect it either way you want. 
make sure that you uh, either carry uh, clips that you can clip it into into the uh, uh, into the, into the motor the the uh, caliper motor or you know get yourself a connector for whatever vehicles you work for this the polarity switch is just to make the retractor go forth back and forth in the actuation all right because remember you're going to have to as you can see on screen you see a little motor turning right on the back uh the retractor you're going to unseize it you're going to push it uh retract the caliper right make sure that you can remove the, the the pads and the whatever you have to do the rotor you may re be replacing the rotor also uh, and then you have to flip the switch again and then contract the caliper does, look it doesn't it's really very simple uh we don't it doesn't get any simpler than this uh, but when you contract the caliper you have to back it a little bit okay so maybe uh, one button, I mean, one second pulse, one, one or two second pulses, you know, and that's enough. And you just turn the caliper, just uh, turn the rotor. I'm sorry, turn the rotor, make sure that it turns. All right. And that's basically that. That's that's all there is to it. You know, uh, it'll take a little bit of, uh, you know, f uh, fiddling, f uh, finagling with, with, with the uh, with the brakes. But basically, you know, uh, but just pay attention to, to the steps, you know, when you're retracting. Uh, you don't want to retract it too much because otherwise it's not going to be engaging properly but with a little bit maybe one or two second steps going back that's enough okay all you want to do you don't want to have an actuated caliper in other words you know uh you just want to actuate the caliper and then you're going to go you're going to activate the the parking brake with the button back and forth you know a couple of times and you're going to go back and uh and um, make sure that the thing is on ceased and that's it you know you're done with, with it no need for for uh for uh, the scanners no need for anything else we'd like to uh, thank you for tuning into our channel adp training go to our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com or do a search at google for automotive diagnostics and publishing where you see all our tools um software uh, we have a bump over 50 publication books that will teach you you know how to do diagnostics properly okay you an entire course pretty much uh, again, uh, we also, if you can, uh, subscribe to, to our channel here, subscribe to our websites, uh, uh, and um, uh, we, uh, whatever donations you, uh, uh, you can give us, we will really appreciate it uh, so that we could continue doing the, this channel. This is a free channel, but it costs money to do this stuff, okay? And so um, uh, there's a little dollar sign right below the screen, uh, the, the video screen. Uh, you can click it, or you can sub uh, subscribe to the channel for a few bucks a month. Uh, you know five ten bucks a month even less than that whatever you can afford anyhow i would like to thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching this channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians we present all the content using the latest cg animation techniques on hands video and how to tips and techniques we encourage you to subscribe to this channel now once subscribed Anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.